Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be transforming myself into the character Squidward from Spongebob. So not only is Squidward my favorite character, but Spongebob is my all-time favorite cartoon. So I hope that you guys love this one as much as I do, and if you're interested in seeing this look, then keep watching. This is one of the few times where I made the props before the sketch of the character. So I'm just holding them up, trying to visualize where I want certain features to go. The bottom piece isn't looking as natural as what I was going for, so I just decided to cut it up and use the ends of the mouth. Now on to gluing down my brows. I use a non-toxic glue stick for this, and the purple color does draw down almost completely clear, which doesn't matter too much because we're painting over it, but just to let you know. I do a few coats back and forth, making sure to coat each hair evenly, which ensures a smooth surface to work on. I think I was eating sour Skittles here, but not the green ones. Ever since they changed the flavor from lime to green apple, I'm not a fan. Before I get started on my sketch, I'm actually going to glue down the headpiece first. For cartoons with more exaggerated features, I like to do this step first so that I can get the proportions squared away in the beginning. This just minimizes the chances of having to make adjustments later. Now I'm grabbing my black shadow from Ben Nye and I'm starting to map out the features. You'll want to do this step with a pencil brush to keep the lines as thin as possible. I always use eyeshadow for the beginning stages because when you make a mistake, you can just wipe it away with a damp cloth and start over. Now I'm applying the ends of Squidward's infamous frown using spirit gum. You want to wait a minute for this glue to get tacky before sticking them on. Then I'm just going to extend his eyes and nose a little further down, and then it's time to map out the lower half of his body. Squidward's head is about three times bigger than the rest of his body, so it's important to get the dimensions as accurate as possible when trying to replicate a character. To make it easier on myself, I just erase those fine lines and I'll just draw them back later. I was extremely low on this color green in my paint set, so I knew that if I mixed it with white in the pan, I wouldn't have enough to cover my whole body. So instead, I painted a thin layer of that color, using it up completely, and then go in with a white on top of it to color match the paper cutouts as I go. <laughs> I'm not sure if that made any sense, but that's what I did. Then I'm just filling in the rest of the colors, including the negative space of the character. I always use the Mayron Paradise palette for my paints. They're just so pigmented, they're non-drying on your skin, and they last forever. Literally, I just purchased a new one the other day after having this palette for a whole year, and I'm just now starting to run low on some of the colors. So it's definitely worth the investment. Now on to my favorite thing ever, which is outlining. I feel like everyone can relate to Squidward. Especially if you've ever worked retail, you wind up just hating everyone. And I'm going in and just adding little details as I go. So I'm drawing his frown in, I'm putting those forehead lines back in, the dots on top of his head, and I'm getting those pupils in there. I think my favorite episode with Squidward is the one where he finds that community called Squidville, and he's all excited because everyone shares all the same passions. But over time, the constant routine of it all winds up making him a rebel and go crazy, and he starts playing with that leaf blower. <laughs> oh, Squidward. And of course, blocking up those nose holes with tissue. You gotta keep the illusion strong. I decided last minute to draw up his crusty crab hat. I just thought it would be a cool extra detail. I hope that you guys love this look. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that bell down below to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, stay creative. <laughs>